I gonna do? Is everything all right, Goots? You seem more discomposed than usual. Oh, I don't know what that means, but, but I'm in a bit of a muddle. You know, I think Nan might be in trouble, and she's... <laughs> it's all right. You can tell me. There was a trader came by. One of our usuals, like... Said he'd heard some rotten rumours about her down Dallymill Way. Folk are saying she's been selling to bandits and cutthroats and that. I mean, she's fond of a chance to make a coin or two, aye, but... But she'd never do business with baddies. Especially not the kind who go hurting people who haven't done out. I wanted to ask her about it myself, but... Well, I'm scared she'll give us a tongue lashing. She'd never give your tongue a lashing, though, would she? Don't worry. I'll speak to her. Oh, thanks, Clive. You'll let me know what she says, won't you? Of course. I'm sure it's all just a misunderstanding. Lady Karen. How's business? Not nearly as foul as the weather. You're doing good trade then? Both in and out of the hideaway? Hmm. Can't complain. Wait. What exactly are you getting at? Not once in five long years do you pay my affairs half a care. But here you are today raking me over the coals like a bloody popotto. Just asking. Out of interest. All right. I'm here because I was told that certain rumors have been circulating. Uh, about you selling weapons to brigands. Oh, are you? And who was it who knows me so well as to tell tales of my evil exploits? I... I, I didn't exactly hear firsthand. All I know is that someone in Dalamil has been spreading word to that effect. And what? You believe it? You think I'm profiting off the blood of innocence, do you? Look, I've done things I'm not proud of. Might be the were a time when I turned a blind eye to the wretchedness of the world so I could line my pocket. But that woman is no more. And you'd know that if you'd ever paid the slightest bit of notice. You're right, Lady Karen. I apologize. It was wrong of me to doubt you. No, it was. No. I reckon you've got better things to do than pointing your do-gooding finger at a poor old woman. Of course. Good day. I spoke with Lady Karen. What did she say? That the rumors were unfounded, and that I was a fool for thinking they might hold any truth. Along with some other things that made her feelings clear. And while it sounds like she may have done things she regretted in her past, she says those days are behind her. Oh, well, that's good. I knew Nan wasn't caught up in out bad. But why would people say she was? What did she ever do to them? It's not right. No. It's not, but people do things for all sorts of reasons. Perhaps we'll never know. Well, I'm going to find out. That trader, he said they were all talking about her in Dalimil. So that's where I'm going. I'll find someone who'll tell me, you'll see. Are you sure that's wise? Whoever's spreading these rumors means Karen ill. Oh, right. But that's why you'll be coming with me, isn't it, Clive? 
I suppose it is. Bandits may be known, but look what they've left them. It shouldn't be too hard to find goods. The gentleman of the town guard. Could be I know something more. Hey, Clive, listen. I found someone who says he's heard the rumors about Nan. Have you? Go on. Tell him what you told me. All right. It's like I said. A wizened old crone by the name of Karen's been selling steel to whoever will pay her price, be they knight or knave. Says the more swords and spears she puts in people's hands, the more war they'll wage. And the more war being waged, the more call for swords and spears. And who will they all turn to to keep them in steel? Why, the good Reaper herself. <laughs> and you've seen this Reaper at work? Aye, it just so happens I have. You'll find her right here, plying her trade most days. Here in Delamil? Where exactly? She has a stall here in the market, but if you're not the patient type, you can probably find her at her storehouse on the edge of town. But it'd be a bolder man than me that braved that particular nest of vipers. Feeling bold, traveler? I hope so, for your sake. Now, if that's all, I have places to be. Sorry to have kept you. You don't think Nan's the Reaper, do you? Not unless she's discovered the secret of how to be in two places at once. Eh? What do you mean? Lady Karen hasn't left the hideaway in weeks. So who has been running this store he spoke of? Good question. I'll go and have a look. And I'll visit this storehouse on the edge of town. All right, but be careful, Clive. You too, Goots. Sell swords in storm. Fuck. How the hell? The gentleman of the town guard is back. Mummy. What a mess. Where do we go? You fought very bravely. The safety of the town is in our hands. Time to brave the viper's nest. Just you, is it? <laughs> Thought I might have laid it on a bit thick. It was a fairly unconvincing tale. So, what now? That's up to you. Die a slow death? Or a quick one. Boys, he's all yours. But that sword is mine. Leave now, or we can pretend this didn't happen.
Done it now. Go on. Tell me what I've done. When the Borgwin finds out you've killed his men, he'll have your head. He only wanted that bull of a manservant, the dim one always clinging to Karen's skirts. You weren't even supposed to be here. Who the hell are you anyway? What were you going to do to him? The Borgwin wanted him to get to Karen. I was only supposed to point the lump in the right direction once he arrived in Dalamil. But then you turned up. Well, go on then. If you're going to end me, end me. You're not worth the effort. Now be gone. Before I change my mind. <laughs> Fucking coward! I need to find Goots. Right now. Get your filthy paws off me, you naughty painted lout! Stop calling me names! And stop spreading them horrible lies about Nan! <laughs> well, that will be easy enough. For they are not lies. Every last word is true. And she must pay for her crimes in blood! Blood! Goot, are you all right? He... He's gonna kill Nan! He said she had to pay in blood! After what she did, it is only right. She ruined my life and the lives of countless others. That loathsome harpy's very existence is a crime, and I will not allow it to continue. Goots, was it? I have no quarrel with you. Only with your employer. Run along now. You need not pay for her sins. No. No? I don't care what she did. I won't let you hurt Nan. Promise me you won't hurt her. Or I'll... Or I'll... Or I'll kill you myself! Goot, no. Enough, all of you! But how did you? <laughs> You're a sight less clever than you think you are, the pair of you. Did you think I wouldn't notice the two of you slinking off together? Well, the whole thing got me thinking. Who in Dalamil might bear me a grudge? And a certain sniveling shit I ran afoul of in me fairy years came to mind. Though it was just Bogam back then, wasn't it? I thought the years might have taught you some sense, but I see you're the same pants pissing craving you've always been. What was it we called you? Wet legs. You. You bitch! Everything that happened. It was all your fault. And now you'll finally pay for what you did to me! Yep. If you want a piece of Nan, you'll have to go through me. Fuck. <gasps> you great galoot. Out of the way, I can handle this myself. So, wet legs, you remember what you told me when we last met? An eye for an eye. Wise words, Sam. Wise words. And now it's time to collect. No! I can't. No! Sorry to keep you waiting. 
Is he... Dead? No. But I reckon he wishes he was. It's an easy going through life, one eye shot of a pair. After all, I should know. You don't mean... Oh, don't tell me you didn't notice. Lost it to old wet legs back when we were working the same routes. Said I'd stolen from his strong box. I'd done nothing of the sort, mind. But that didn't stop him taking his little revenge. So I took some of my own. Sorry, lost everything. His coin, his clients. Always knew he'd be back one day to claim his due. But he crossed a line dragging poor goots into this. He didn't hurt you, did he? No, Nan. Still got all my arms, see? Legs, too. <laughs> but... What if he comes back again? What if he does? First we take the other eye, then we work our way down. He'll learn his lesson soon enough. But something tells me the wet legs has learned it already. Right. Let's get you back to the hideaway. You've attracted quite enough attention already. Ta-ra, Clive! Remind me never to cross you, Karen. Nothing like a dish of cold vengeance to foul a gut. Uh, I'm sorry, Nan. I, I didn't mean to make things worse. I just thought I had to protect you. Like you've protected me. Aye. Well, someone had to. Your parents certainly didn't give a whit for your well-being. Reckon the both of us would be worse off if I'd not taken you on. You've always been me right eye, Goots. And I'd have you stay that way. So don't you dare go looking for trouble again. Well, I will. If you ever need help, I'll do it again and again. And you can't stop me. Why, you big lump. Fine. Play the hero if it makes you happy. Thanks, Nan. I won't let you down. There's nothing he wouldn't do for you. That's as may be. But if he's ever to make his own way in life, he'll need to start looking out for himself as well. Till then, he'll need people to watch his back, just like you did in Dallamill. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. Of course. His family. Stop it. You make me one good eye, mister. I don't go thinking that'll do you any favours. A potion today'll cost you the same as it did yesterday. 